Alright, I think we're live. We are live. How's it going, everybody? Happy Tuesday, right? It is Tuesday. Alright, I need to, to... Whoa, what is going on? I am on the wrong thing. I am so sorry. There we go. That's where I'm supposed to be. What's going on, guys? It's Alex. Um, yeah, so we're going to make a butterfly card. Uh, very simple. Um, I feel like if I were to put this together, this video would be 10 minutes and then over. But we're going to do an after craft chat. Uh, it's something that we're going to do more of. But this one is going to be in this video. Um, starting next week, we'll change it up a little bit. I'll talk more about that in the end of the, the crafting thing. So to get this, I lost the mouse. Where's the mouse at? There's the mouse. Okay. Um, now I have to go back over here to get there the card. Oh, hey, there. Alexa, stop talking. I didn't stop. Why are you talking to me? Just stop. Shh. Okay. Okay. Uh, Let's start over. Ale Alexa, stop. Bye. Thank you. I don't know what just happened. All right, so if you go to MelodyLaneInspired.com, if you are a supporter, you go to Supporter Projects, you can go to Start Here, and then you can learn how to um, support. But we're going to go to Supporter Projects. We're going to put in... That's not the right password. The right, the correct password. Okay. And then we are in... Florence to practice some projects. So this is a butterfly. So I'm just gonna type in butterfly. And you can see all these cool butterflies. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, it's right here because there's no no photo yet. So then you hit open. And that's it. It's that simple. <laughs> And then you go down here to open an app. And we're going to exit out of that because I already have it right here. Uh, and if you scroll down, you can see everything in it is used as access or free. And if you are questioning what font, it is Haley font. This one here. Okay. I am feeling much better. Thank you. Uh, Trying to read chat somewhat. All right. So then, yeah, you can, I think yours would say edit a copy or make it. I'm not sure. Is customize, edit a copy or make it. Yeah. So then you choose your colors. I chose my colors, which might be different than your colors. I don't know where that just went. What in the world? Why is that way over there? How did that get there? Okay. I will figure that out another time. What is happening? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and do the... Nope, that's me. Nope, wrong one. Oh, that's wrong. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let's go ahead and start with this. Uh, yeah. Okay. I got my little handy dandy box here of the project pending stuff. Now, you could use pop-up dots for part of this, but you don't really need to. I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side a little bit here. So, it's just a basic, very basic card. You glue this to here, and it folds. You open it, and there's going to be stuff in here. Yeah, that's that's the whole thing. So, I did go ahead and pre, um, pre-fold these because I was curious how well it was going to score and fold I would say for the the head of the butterfly uh, just squeeze the little pieces on the outside and it, it kind of pops right into place so that sits on top like that so I'm gonna put glue which I did not check the glue I've like lost the little pin for the glue the small one so you don't like get a bunch of glue out I'm going to not glue some of the um, the tops. Like you'll see. So I'm gonna. Uh, someone said, "Oops, Alex." I don't know what I did. Did I do something wrong? 
probably. Oh no. Maybe I shouldn't try to put glue there. Oh, you can't see me now. Do 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 do. Little racetrack of glue. Do 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 do. So much glue. So little time. So much glue. So little time. I don't know what to do right now. Okay. Hopefully that's enough. Get glue everywhere. Alright. And... Yeah. It's not... Almost perfect. Almost. There. Okay. So I didn't I didn't put glue up here, like in the, t the corners. Like I don't know why you would want to, but if you wanted to like hang it up, you could from its wings. Uh, like that. I don't know. It's just just a thought. It's just a giant butterfly. That's all it is. I know. She would always say, "Stay in camera." So I gotta, I gotta remember that. I'm just gonna catch up with chat just a little bit here. Do 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 do. Yes. Uh, yeah. Noises, noises, and songs. That's my life. My life is sound effects. All right, so then this is, I didn't know what to like have the card say. So I had it say, spread your wings and flutter. Cause you know, butterflies flutter, they flutter. And then you're just gonna put this here. Now I was thinking about popping this up. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna pop up. So you can get your handy dandy little things here. I wasn't going to, but then I was, and then I'm just gonna do one. Spread your wings and flutter. Be a butterfly. There we go. Uh oh. The card is not straight at all. Oh no. There we go. Spread your wings and flutter. And then when you open it, there's nothing inside. So I I got this side. It says happy birthday. It could be a whatever card, whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have to be a birthday card, but and you can use whatever colors you want. Uh, and this is just a super simple card. I've gotten people asking uh, that they want to like open up their maker and you know whatever else. And they're like, I just don't want to make something complex. I just want simple. So this is super simple. Super simple. Oh, don't put it upside down. There we go. It's got somewhat of a border and that's on purpose. It's a little tight on this side, but that's okay. And this, uh, this size, what I did was I, t I made a rectangle uh, 10 by 7, and then I, you know, I put the score line in there, and then I made this where it would fit inside that rectangle, or, and then, because most of my cards I make are 5 by 7 cards, so this will fit into the same type of envelope a 5 by 7 would be in. So then you open it up, it says happy birthday. But wait, there's more. Okay, I gotta 
flip this over because I can't do things. I made these little itty bitty butterflies. So. I'm not going to try to go in all the in between all the lines. I'm just going to throw some some glue that oh yeah, I am on I am in camera. I was like for sure that I was not in camera there. And put it down on the backing. So this one is a little blue and white. Uh Oh, there. Got a little butterfly. And then I made these to go over on the inside of this butterfly card. So I, the, I'll just put some glue. So I'll put this one here. What is, what is that? Oh. I was like, what is, there's like a bump right here. It's because of this. And then I have a purple and purple. And that, what I didn't do, it, I don't think it matters, but just make sure that it fits, you know, on there. And if you see uh, in the chat the Melody Lane typing, that is Holly, uh, since both my hands are, oh, I'm out of, oh, I'm so sorry, since both my hands are, you know, doing this. So you are chatting with Holly in the chat. And then I am just talking and making noises. All right, super simple. Oh, I'm not quite done with the glue. Just some glue, spread the glue out. Put your pin in the glue. Right. Twelve minutes. The card's done. It's done. Um, like I said, it was a super simple card. It says spread your wings and flutter. You open it up, it says happy birthday. And then there's a couple of other little butterflies. And then you still have room to write whatever you want, sign it, whatever you want to do. Um, and then, like I said, if you wanted, you know, I didn't glue. So if you have somewhere where you wanted to hang this up on the wall or on a something, I don't know. You got a butterfly. And it, it has a nice little saying to spread your wings and flutter. Um, all right. So got my little, little notes over here. Because last video, I just kind of cut off real quick uh, so it's 12 13 um, um, you know we're gonna let me get the, the mousy mouse over here and move the chat a little bit closer uh, so if you guys wanna wanna do some after craft chatting um, that's that's what we're gonna do right now so yeah the um, I want to first say we're going to do another video uh, next Tuesday. Um, I for sure scheduled something right when the video would start. So uh, I, I won't be online until in the evening most likely. It might be around 5 or 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, Holly will be here next, next Tuesday here in Florida. So she'll be in video with me. Um, let's see, the, so yeah, she'll be here, um, next Tuesday's video is later. Oh, so we wanted to talk about, like, <laughs> we're going to be doing another, um, kind of a challenge thing. So kind of like what I did with this card, this is the, you know, perception crafts so she had an idea she was like oh you know a, a chicken and an egg uh, or, or she didn't say a chicken she said like chicks and eggs and stuff and I totally 
made this instead of a little thing that holds little plastic eggs. Um, so this is what my mind made. And uh, so it gave us the idea of perception crafts. Um, so either she'll have an idea or I'll have an idea. So we're doing a Mother's Day one. And <laughs> it's pull something and reveal something. So right now in our Cricut Design Space, we each have our own files, but then we put a big rectangle or square over it to hide the other thing. Yeah, we could go into it, but we're not going to. We've I'm talking with my hands because that's what's happening right now. I'm just going to stop. <laughs> um, so we're going to kind of just give us give each other like a little challenge of like an idea and then see what we make with it. So like I'm taking her Mother's Day idea and making my own card with that, those things being said. So yeah, um, I feel like I'm talking a lot. Can you share the link for this, those sliders? Uh, the, oh yeah, the spin and slide. Let me see if I can find them real fast. Why? Okay. Let's get back over here. Let me see. If I ever open the right thing. Thank you, expression. Or Georgiana Franks. Uh, okay, I'm still here. I'm still here. Um, all right, looks like they are in stock, which has been an issue in the past. So you might want to go get some right now. Copy. Uh, here. There's the link to the spin and slide discs. Yeah, uh, I have a bunch of, a lot of, if you go into, here, let's go. Let me clean up my desktop over here. Um, Okay, let's go over to main design space. Okay, no, go away. All right, over here we're in support supporter projects. Uh, if you go to Alex's collection, um, let's see, this card, this card, these have uh, the spin and slide discs in them. Um, I mean, so does that one. The Ferris Wheel interactive card. That's one of my favorite cards I've made. Uh, the football. I don't think it's in that one. This is a cool fishing card. It's got an actual little reel with a string that pulls up that fish. This one has spin and slide, spin and slide is in that one. A Mother's Day card I made for my mom last year. It's got a Flamingo a golf cart. It says Happy Mom's Day and a Tesla logo. But you guys wouldn't be able to. I don't even know if you guys would be able to use that because it has an uploaded photo. A card I made for, or a card, a mug I made for a friend of mine. She likes to read. It says, go away, I'm reading. Tears of my enemies. Two different ones. These are spin and slide, spin and slide in the skydive. Spin and slide in soccer, surf's up. 
This is probably my second favorite card that I've made here. But... Because this card is with wood veneer, paper, and leather. The leather holds the card together. Kobe's good. He's not here right now. Uh, since I was out of town over the weekend, I went down to West Palm Beach to visit my cousin. Uh, Kobe's with his with the grandparents. So, but uh, I wanted to do a poll. But I think you guys would like the idea um, of doing. Oh man, what am I doing? I'm moving around too much. Sorry. I I lost the mouse. Give me a second. <laughs> what monitor is it on? Okay, there I am. So, uh, yeah, the Holly and I were talking about doing the after craft chat. So it'd be a separate video that you guys would go to. So for like. I don't know, like 30 minutes or something like that, uh, just to go in and chat after um, after a craft. That way, we can use these um, these videos of us making the card when we go to put that onto the website. Um, some people might see like an hour long video and be like, "I just want to know how to put it together," and they don't want to look at an hour long video. But really. Remember, we would always sit and chat after all the videos. So there's videos are 45 minutes longer than they need to be a lot of the times because we're sitting there chatting afterwards, like we are right now. But it's a short video, anyways. And I probably don't need directions on how how to put it together. Um, yeah, I know I have WD-40. I just forget to use it until I'm sitting in the chair. Uh, organize your dies. I don't really like. We don't have like die cuts. Everything is used on the the maker. Um. Yeah, we wanna Gloria. We wanna go back to doing videos on Saturdays. Um. But yeah, the the after show. It'd be an after craft show. So like it'd be a separate video and at the end of like say this video, we'll put a link in so you guys can just easily find it by clicking on that. And then we'll end this video and then we would go to that one. Now we're not doing it now, but I'm saying for next week, uh, we will go ahead and start that. Um, the next, like, do you mean, um, do you mean the like a monthly zoom there's an everyday zoom that you can go to uh the monthly zoom i don't know yet uh when that will be um but i i plan on doing that again as well um i'll be gone quite a bit this this next cuffy next couple weeks let's see I gotta drive Holly back up to Indiana with some stuff here uh, so she can make some videos up there as well um, so yeah I'll be in contact with Holly about that type of thing what we'll be doing sorry if you're wondering why I'm looking at chat right now it's right here chat how do you get the everything? um if you are a patreon supporter or a supporter in anything right yeah uh yeah if you're a supporter in anything you you can access it from wherever you support you should be able to go and um get the um the link yeah. I'll see. I know, Sheila. I know. <laughs> and we bought we bought WD forty for this house and the other house and just um haven't gotten around to <laughs> now I don't know where it's at. 
Since I bought it, we've lost it. <laughs> yeah, she always, she talked about me taking over um, the channel um, after she passed, and none of us expected it to be this early, but um, they're, they're big, big shoes to fill, that's for sure. So we're, we're doing it day by day and slowly getting back to how busy she was. So, I mean, we're busy, but like trying to get the schedule back, but it's difficult. Um, yeah. 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 So <laughs> my hair, they did my hair wrong. Um, I'm getting it fixed on Monday. They definitely did this wrong. I showed them a picture of what I wanted, and they did this. And I'm like, that's, that's not at all what that was supposed to be. Uh, but it's getting fixed on Monday, so maybe uh, next Tuesday you'll see a different color. So, um, No, I'm not overwhelming myself, no. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. It's just not the right colors. <laughs> it's It was supposed to be mostly blue with a little bit of purple coming through. They did all purple with a little bit of blue. Um, my beard is it's fading quickly. And they definitely bleached my beard. So, like, I'll have to get some over-the-counter color to fill in if I end up just having a blonde beard that's going to look super weird. Um, for sure. Well. Yeah, definitely check out the daily Zoom, though. There's usually quite a few people in there. If you're a night owl, there's definitely people in there, usually. Um, and, okay. This is... Hola. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. So that was Holly, phone a friend. Uh, she is going to be making a post of the daily Zoom and how to find it. So and how to become a supporter if you are not a supporter. Um, so keep an eye out for that if you are interested in going into the daily Zoom. Um, yes, sounds like Holly. It was Holly, yes. Um, phone a friend. But, so yeah, made them all. This is what we made, what I made. Spread your wings and flutter. And then you open it. This is happy birthday. And there's little butterflies on the inside. And they flutter. They don't. I flutter them. But... Oh, good luck. Good luck redesigning your craft room. There's so much stuff here. I couldn't imagine redesigning it. Okay. Daily Zoom is working. That's good. Thank you, guys. I figured, you know, there's... I've, I've had a few people message me that they're like, I just want to open something, but I don't want to make something difficult. I just want something simple. So I made this super simple card. Um, anybody can make it. So right now what I'm doing is I didn't glue this down all the way. So I'm like just kind of folding out the, to give it some, some dimension. I'll do that with this one down here. Ooh, too much. Too much. Oh, no. That's the front, not the back. That's fine. Um, huh. 
how can you talk to an admin? Uh, Connie, um, if one of the admins that is in here, if you want to message Connie, uh, I mean, you can message me, Connie, and uh, if you have an issue or anything. What size is the card? So, it, like I said earlier, I, I did make like a 5 by, like usually my cards are 5 by 7, so this would fit within a 5 by 7 card. Um, like our envelope. Uh, but it's about 4 and a half, four and a half inches wide. Put it at an angle, it's below the seven inches tall. But if it's, it's like seven and a half inches tall, if you have it straight up, but if you go slightly at an angle, it's seven inches. So you can fit it within a five by seven. Uh, legal size envelope, yeah, it'll fit in a legal size. Uh, mail over here. Yeah. It fits inside. Thank you, Jamie, for reaching out to Connie. Yeah, Sean, for sure. I I am well aware. I advise nobody to make my Santa Claus Christmas card, where you, when you open up the card, Santa's like on top of a roof, and then he goes over to the chimney, and then he falls down the chimney, and he comes out of the fireplace, and then he's bringing gifts under the tree, putting gifts under the tree. And that's a tough one. That one was even my test cut for that card turned out better than my live video card. Uh, that one was a extremely difficult card and so time consuming. I think it was like almost two hours for me to put together. It was, it was for a card. Nothing needs to be, and it's so thick of a card that you have to, you would have to pay extra to ship it. I think Sue tried to put it together once. I don't know if it worked out. This is in Supporter Projects, yes, it is. Uh, if you type in the word butterfly, uh, you'll find it there, or if you go to Alex's collection. I do need to take a photo of it, so then I can add it to um, um, I can add a photo to it, so you can find it quicker. But it's called Butterfly Flutter, I believe. Yeah, Sean, it's, uh, let me go back to here to, um, I'm in Alex's collection. It's this card here. So, open it up. It's taking forever to load everything. There's so much in the card. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like the butterfly card. <laughs> you spend more time watching and buying than doing. I understand that. So, how I just put, uh, link for Zoom was just put in new post on Patreon. If anyone doesn't get it and needs it, just send us a message through Messenger or MelodyLaneInspired.com. Alright, finally loaded in. So, this is... This is the front of the card, and then it would flip up. So from here, up. 
like this was the score line up here. Uh, here's Santa. This is print then cut. I thought I would try it because the first one I did was not print then cut. Uh, it was, I put all his little pieces together, but then he liked to get stuck in here. So Santa would come over here and he would be behind the, this, you know, here. So he would go over here and then he would slide down and then you would have to put the card straight up. So then he would slide all the way to the bottom and then he would walk out of the uh, fireplace and then there. So the other part of this is like this is outside, all right? This is the window. This is the same window. So you're looking at it from outside here and then this is the inside of the house. So you see the Christmas tree and that's why there's a star there because it's this Christmas tree. So it's like a illusion that he goes into and then you're magically on the inside and then I made it where you can slide outside of so that's why this part of the fireplace is gone so Santa can just slide over and this is what I made for Christmas in July a couple of years ago and yeah so it's the most difficult card I've ever made but if you put it together it's super fun but it's uh, it's difficult <laughs> And it's just where my mind goes, starts getting ideas. I'm like, oh, I wonder if I could do that. I wonder if I could do that. Um, but there is a video of us putting this together. Uh, yeah, it goes up, starts up there. Um, Yeah, make the butterfly one. It's super simple, super easy, and I kind of like the idea that you can just kind of hang it up because you can't really stand it. It doesn't. It doesn't do a stand unless you have it on its the backside of its wings. But um, all right, all right. Well, it's been almost. 40 minutes, right? No, oh, no, 30 minutes. No, almost been 30 minutes since we started talking here. Uh, a card architect. Um, last time. Oh, it's okay, Terry. It's just, it's a, it took me 10 minutes to put the card together. Uh, it's a super simple card. Um, so, it's a butterfly card, and it says, spread your wings and flutter, and then when you open it, it says happy birthday, and then there's a couple butterflies on the inside, and then you have space over here to say whatever you're going to say. Just super simple, just an easy card. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for easier projects, so that's what this is. Very simple. Beginner stage project. Thank you. Um, awesome. Very cool. And of course, you know, if you do make any of these cards that we make, you know, always share them in uh, Cricut Design Space. Because um, I like to see what you guys make and what colors you guys use. And, like, there's so many things that I could have done with this that I thought about afterwards. I was like, oh, for, like, one of these, like, the outer layer or something, you can use, like, glitter paper or... Um, Use that shimmer stuff to make it shiny. I don't know. There's all kinds of different colors. So, uh, it's it would fit in a, a five by seven like envelope. Um, it's wide. It's about four and a half inches wide. And then if you stand it from the very bottom to the very top, it's about seven and a half inches. But if you tilt it very slightly, it's seven inches.
Um, so, thank you, Sandy. But all right, I think uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and end it there. Um, again, next week, um, Tuesday video will not be at noon. Maybe a few hours later. Uh, get some some something done, and then. Uh, uh, Holly will be here as well for that video, um, and then we're gonna Holly and I are gonna talk about the Zoom, trying to get that all put together, and uh, what we're gonna what we're gonna make for that. Um, I have an idea. So, and uh, yeah, the daily Zoom link posted in all platforms for supporters. I think that's what she meant to say. PP stead in platforms for Sal Porters. Sal, Sal, Sal Porters. Um, yeah. We will see you Friday for new image set video. Um, thank you, Holly. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Toodles. To toodles. Live from cold Minnesota. <laughs> it's okay, Holly. <laughs> Bye.